the Fokker Wolf FW190. The FW190 was one of the biggest challenges to the Allies during World War II. Notorious for wrecking havoc on their enemy's bombers, the FW190 was virtually unchallenged in disguise by Allied European forces. German pilot Otto Kittel recorded almost all of his 267 kills in the 190, which is an incredible feat and demonstrates the power of this German machine. The FW190 was used by the Luftwaffe as a night fighter, day fighter, ground attack aircraft, and a fighter bomber. The versatility of the Focke Wolf saw over 20,000 of them produced. The FW190 was equipped with an air-cooled BMW radial engine, which was far larger than the liquid-cooled Daimler engines used by the BF109s. This radial engine was far more durable and its size acted as a shield to Allied bullets, thanks to its durability. The FW190's engine produced 1,750 brake horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of 426 miles per hour. The German fighter was an exceptional killing machine at lower altitudes, but struggled to perform as well when it approached greater heights. This was later fixed with the introduction of a liquid-cooled engine towards the end of the war, but it was too little too late for the FW190. The 190 had a wingspan of 34 feet, 6 inches, and a length of 29 feet and 4 inches. Weapons that featured on the fighter could range from a single 4,000-pound bomb to two 7.9mm machine guns with two 20mm cannons on the wing roots and two 20mm cannons at the mid-wing, making it an incredibly deadly fight. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and comment which aircraft you'd like to see in the next one.